One complaint that people sometimes make about the modeling workflow in Modo is it can be a little bit clicky. What I mean by that is um, if you uh, make a selection, you activate a tool, uh, perform a transform say, then you have to drop the tool, make another selection, activate the tool again, perform your transform, drop the tool, etc. Um, some people find this workflow a little bit cumbersome. Uh, there's a couple of things you can do to improve this and the first one of these is sticky keys. So um, what a sticky key is, is you have to press and hold the keyboard shortcut for the tool to temporarily toggle it on. So in this case if I press and hold the W key it will temporarily activate the move tool. And as soon as I let go um, I'm back into selection mode again and I can make another selection, press and hold to temporarily activate the move tool. Um, let me just undo this. Um, there's another a way that sticky keys work and it's kind of a reverse sticky key system so if you activate the move tool as per normal by just quickly pressing the uh, W key so now we're permanently in uh, the move tool mode but then I press and hold W again this will temporarily toggle me back into selection mode and as soon as I release the key the move tool is active again an even more useful feature in Modo is called Select Through, and what Select Through allows you to do is to uh, carry on making selections without dropping your tool. So I've just activated the Move tool, and if you go to the List tab, uh, this panel here is called the Tool Pipeline. If you right-click on where it says Transform, you can see right at the bottom there's a menu item you can toggle on and off, and it's Select Through. Now when it's toggled on, you can uh, make a transform, and then if you right click and drag to make another selection you can see it's not drop your tool it's still active and you can keep working um, and you can also left click to make selections to add to the selection or to just to make a new selection altogether and just carry on working so this makes uh, tweaking extremely fast um, there's also a keyboard shortcut you can use and that's the semicolon key so um, if I hit semicolon it will toggle it off and now if I try and click somewhere else on the model it's not going to make a new selection it's going to move my tool handles depending what action center you're in uh, but at the moment I've got no action center selected which means it behaves pretty much like the automatic action center but if I hit semicolon again it's put select through back on and now if I click on a vertex it's going to select uh, right click it's going to select that vertex. I didn't aim quite well enough, but this time, yes. Um, so basically, you can carry on working um, and tweaking without ever having to drop the move tool. You saw me struggle to uh, select that vertex earlier. As you can see, it can be quite fiddly. And at the moment, I've actually got show vertices on. I'll just show you what it's like with it off. It's even harder to see. But let me turn that back on very quickly. There is something you can do, and that's to go to System Preferences. And where it, in OpenGL, where it says OpenGL Point Size, you can change that to something a bit bigger. So if I put it to 10, it defaults at 3. You can see the vertices are much easier now to, to select. Um, obviously, if you make them really big and your mesh is really dense, that uh, might cause some problems. But uh, that is something you can tweak if, uh, if you want to make your vertices easier to select. And now finally, there's another way you can use a tool pipe and uh, in conjunction with falloffs to almost build your own tools. I mean, that's essentially how tools are built in Modo. Um, a lot of the presets are just uh, basically uh, regular sort of transform or rotate tools with uh, falloffs and action centers. So if you activate the move tool, for instance, um, with nothing selected, which in Modo means everything is selected, and you go to fall off and select the screen fall off, um, at this point it's important to check that select through is off because otherwise it's not going to work because you need to right click in the viewport um, so right click in the viewport to define your fall off and now you can see you've got almost like a custom tweak tool that you've just built yourself um, in the pipeline just with the screen fall off and the transform tool okay I hope that's been helpful and thank you very much for watching